All right, guys, hello and welcome to the THQ podcast. Uh, in this episode, what I want to talk about is motivation. Now, a lot of people become unmotivated very easily, and motivation dips and, and, and things. Like that. And I think personally, we look at motivation um, in a wrong way. So, motivation isn't about seeing like an uplifting video or something that gets you pumped or reading a story um, that motivates you. And it, like, that's just something that's motivation is external and, it, and it's motivation I think should come with one from within um, so I want to talk a little bit about how I'm motivated and how my motivation's changed over the years and hopefully that will give you an insight to do a little bit of digging into yourself so you don't just lose motivation and motivation isn't relied upon and motivation is understood a little bit more so um, for me motivation when I was younger to get in shape was like I was always out, I wasn't always out of shape um, I used to play like football and ride my bike all the time which generally but as I started to get older um, and then you sort of temptations to drink and like eat bad food all the time and I sort of got myself out of shape so for probably from when I was like 18 till I was like about probably 20 you know probably no to be fair probably for like three years probably from 19 till about 22 23 um mo- motivation was just as basically just vanity really I wanted to look better I wanted to look better for myself but that was all I really cared about and like now turning 30 even though 30 a lot of people are going to think 30 is not old like um for me like everything sort of changed when I turned 30 and I got married this year just my whole perspective of how actually what I should be doing um, and what, where my motivation should come from completely changed so I started to look at a little bit things like my dad died at a young age like why did my dad die I wanted to see his um, I, even though I knew you know it was heart issues I wanted to delve a little bit more and I, I started to take control of like looking at help a hell of a lot more than what I ever have done um, and I think that is the beauty of as well of understanding motivation is because you can start to look into yourself a little bit more I think right now once my motivation comes from there now where else does it come from right and when people talk about do you ever like you know like people let's say say I'm talking about how my dad passed away and like his diet was dead bad and like he was always stressed all the time and he smoked and etc etc but then like some people that some people can like like live long um, and then do or do all them things but to me like life isn't too short not to eat chips all the time like people associate sometimes I think of of eating bad food um, and then like that's what you should be doing to live now in reality people that I've dealt with and how I felt myself as well is that people that do all these bad things that we sometimes class as like living um, I I think uh, you don't actually enjoy them so like if I were to eat crap food all the time I never would enjoy like a takeaway a weekend or enjoy or enjoy that if I was to like like not train and not exercise I never actually feel um, the full benefits so say I would opt to actually you know maybe go to the pub every night and drink every night then I wouldn't enjoy drinking at weekends so like life isn't too short not to eat but eat chips and things like that every single day it, it, it's really not like you know you, you've got to actually find that moderation and find that balance um, and I think a discipline with that does equal freedom like it's quite cheesy but discipline having that discipline every single day with yourself no matter how you feel whether you have good days or bad days with food and with training um is is um, gives you massive freedom in other areas it, it really really does now like i mentioned with motivation you everybody has good or bad days right you have to look at sort of you know what is what is motivation to you like you cannot be waiting to just to work out just to ex- just to eat well when you're just like when you just like when you feel good about when you feel like you're going to have good days you're going to have bad days you're going to have to exercise and train when sometimes when you don't necessarily feel like doing and I think having that understanding of yourself and not waiting for that external motivation to feel yeah I feel ready this week I'm going to smash it have a good week but then not doing is getting into that daily routine and that daily habit and understanding that you know if you are generally doing what your best you can, you're going to be feeling a hell of a lot better and that is going to spiral into different areas of your life as well. So, like, just because I'm a PT or a gym owner or whatever or because I work in the fitness industry doesn't mean that I don't get too busy to train or to eat and things like that. So you have to have that certain discipline still like my training sessions I have to write in my just because like just like you guys do when you book in on an app to take do a THQ session I have to write in my diary that I am going now that is an important discipline 
again, that's another discipline where we put it booking into THQ sessions because it's very important that you, you people book in and you, you schedule time for it and it's non-negotiable. Having it as a non-negotiable thing is very important because what we're trying to do at THQ here is not just it's trying to take you away from looking at diet and exercise and it's something that you have to do and it's something that you dip in and out of and then turning it into training and dieting and something that is with you and, and, and that is and you have to do it and that's when external motivation means nothing because it's something that you have to do it and when you do slip off track and you do go off track and you're, or maybe like, it's something that you know you have to get back to, not something you're gonna have to get back to just because it's something you, you wanna do. You know it's gonna make you feel better, make you feel good, and it's something that's gonna do, but it's not easy to fit in. You have to plan it, you have to re uh, prepare your meals, you have to write in the training session when you are training, and it's non negotiable. And yes, I understand it gets hard, it, it gets very hard because, especially like, I'm, Every single month I seem to get busier and busier and busier, but that's why I know putting in my training in my diary is non-negotiable. It is, you have to continue to do it all the time. It's never, that's never ever gonna go away. And to me, well, mo like I've said, discipline is, is very important and you should never, motivation, motivation comes from having a few non-negotiables in yourself. Like, what are your non-negotiables? And I mean, practical non my non-negotiables are, I always sit down and eat meals. Like I don't snack pr hardly ever. I'd probably say 10% of my daily eating is snacking. Whether that's, like, whether that's anything, like I have to, I, I, sometimes when I have a few drinks at a weekend, and um, I'm, then I'm, I'm having a few drinks, I will snack, yeah, because I'm not gonna sit there and have loads and loads of these big meals, but 80% of my week, 90% of my week is from sitting down eating meals. So Monday to Friday, my disciplines are I do not drink, unless it's like a special occasion. I do not snack. I tend to not have protein bars because like protein bars tend to, to me is triggered something in a snack. So I have my protein bars at the weekend. I have them every weekend, probably have two a day. Um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, and it's Friday's the weekend, did you know? Um, and then I do that, like, it, that, that is a discipline, that's what I have, and I don't eat in my car, like, I do a lot of traveling, and I used to always have, like, a little snack in my car, I don't eat in my car, because I'm not concentrating on my food, um, and it, that's something that I've realized that it does need to be, a, for me to pay attention to, like, I, I need to have them disciplines, and once you have them disciplines, it's very, very um, important. Now, another thing is, Daily routines. Now, a lot of us shy away from getting into a morning, say a morning routine and a morning um, schedule because you can't do it every single day, seven days a week. Like we, we talk about like, let's say you, you, you're really tight and I say, right, well, you need to be stretching like every morning is your morning routine. And you will probably not do that because you don't think fully you commit to doing it seven days a week. Now you don't have to. like. A morning routine can be three times a week, can be four times a week. It's just a discipline that you know you should be doing on a weekly basis. Like I've said that I, I like to get up early and get my work done. Do I do that seven days a week? No, I don't, right? I probably do that three or four days a week. When I get up early, I get my work done. I have like a time when I get up, I do deep work till about seven, eight o'clock. And then I do little bits and bobs, maybe have some breakfast and then my day um, sort of goes into different directions of, of doing little bits of other things. But I have that discipline and I have that and you don't have to do it every single day of the week. If you just put, see, if you say to yourself right now, um, I, I want to I want to improve something or I want to even get like, I want to do stretching like in the mornings or I want to practice meditation or I want to do something, anything, do it. Just do it a couple of mornings a week. Again, that's a discipline and you're having it in it as long as it's happening on a weekly basis, it's a habit and it's gonna help you and it's gonna serve you. Um, all this leads to living it. Like, we promote massively, like, it's not just diet, it's not just eating well and exercising because you have to do it, you're living it, you're thinking about it, you're doing it. That doesn't mean you have to live like a monk as well, right? So when I say to you, you have to live diet and exercise, and diet and training to live a body transformation, that doesn't mean that you can never go out for a meal, never drink alcohol, um, never do anything bad at all, and you have to live like this monk because I'm a Sergeant Major PT and I'm telling you to do that. No, that's, that's crap. I'm not telling people to do that. What I'm telling to you to do is you have to live it. It has to be a responsibility, something that you do on a regular basis. If you're not doing about it, you're, you're missing it. Like a good thing is, like, I love to, 
love what we do to people is when people say that like before it was just a, it was like you had to go to the gym now if they miss the gym for a couple of like weeks or maybe a, a week with work or other commitments they miss it and they want to get back that's living it right that's living it probably longer than the six weeks or 12 weeks like people that like stay members for 12 months or eight months or 18 months or even members that say did six months at thq but i bump into them 12 months later and they're still doing it they're living it that's living it okay so that that to me is definitely living it so when you get that into yourself and um, it it's it's very important now how how do you stop how do you get to the point where you never get to the point where you're living it right and you never get the results that you want you never get the motivation you're constantly looking for things that are external that you think right yes i'm really pumped up um i'm motivated i'm gonna go to the gym today but then that doesn't come around you go to the gym and that's it and then you lose that motivation how do you get how do you snap out of that right how do you you fail to become living it and getting into the routine it's it's when you lose confidence in yourself how do you lose confidence in yourself saying you're going to do something and never doing it Saying you're going to stick to the diet plan, but when it comes to the weekend, you eat shit all weekend. Saying you're going to go to the gym, but then some, the slightest things happens and you cancel on it. Do you know what? That, that's, not, that's not letting anybody else down. That's letting yourself down. And without you realising, you don't actually realise what you're actually doing to your own confidence. Every single time you commit something and you don't do it, that damages your belief in yourself. And the more you damage your belief that you can actually achieve it, then the less likely it's ever going to happen. Because if you believe something isn't going to happen, it's not going to happen, right? But if you believe something is going to happen and you do something and you make sure that, you know, at least you've put 100% effort in, no one can take that away from you. You might never get, not get to the result that you want, but you know it's only a matter of time to eventually get to the result that you want because you've got that confidence in yourself. And that is what motivation is all about. Nothing external, it's that, it's having that confidence, having that belief in yourself. And you know what? I actually followed through for something once and did it and achieved it. Yeah? That's motivation. That's motivation to me anyway. Um, so I hope my sort of look on motivation helps people, helps people get in that dip in motivation. So when you're, I'll, I'll say again, when you don't feel like going to the gym, you're not unmotivated, you just don't feel like going to the gym today. Right? If you go to the gym, great. If you don't, that's fine, right? It's living it, getting it all in, in, in you. That is what's very, very important. Guys, I hope this podcast has helped um, and I will see you all very soon. Take care.